This is going to be a review of the LG Chem 18650 battery. I got these batteries from a secret location. Everybody has them, or everybody has 18650 batteries. The majority of people have 18650 batteries. They just don't know where they are. But I guarantee most people have 18650 batteries. These are not double A's or triple A's, D, C. They're not your standard battery. These are special 3.7 volt rechargeable batteries. And they work in special or certain flashlights. If you guys want to know where you can get these batteries for free, if I get 20 likes in this video, or 20 comments, or 15 to 20 comments, I will make a video on how to find these batteries. And the comments cannot be hateful comments. They have to be legitimate like comments on the video questions or anything you can't just spam in the comments it has to be 20 different people or 15 to 20 different people these batteries I believe are rated for 2200 milliamp hour so 2.2 amps I see if the camera will focus Come on, focus, it doesn't want to. Anyways, these are 2200 milliamp hour batteries. And they work very good in flashlights such as this. I have four of them in this flashlight and they work really good. These batteries the way I found them I found 12 12 at once. Now I have multiple other sources in my house where I can get 18650 batteries. Now you can buy them online specifically Amazon sells them. Uh, 1850 batteries in general, not not these. I don't know if they sell LG Chem batteries, but I, knew, I do know that they do sell 18650 batteries. Now, 18650 batteries can range, uh, I'd have to say, from a price, you can get them as cheap as like $5, all the way up to like I know my friend um, Fox Tech, linked in the description, he spent $20 on two batteries. So you can get them that are really expensive. And so for the price of free, for I got 12 18650 batteries for free. Now that's pretty good I have to say um, now you can also buy on eBay uh, 18650 batteries and they come in bulk and you can get them for also pretty cheap uh, if you buy them the way that I got my batteries um, which is in a bigger battery pack you can pay like twelve dollar not twelve a dollar and like twenty five cents per cell which is one battery which is these are one cell now that's pretty good you do have to do a little bit of work to get them out and you do have to do some run some tests tests on them uh, to make sure that they're gonna work properly you have to charge them up, then you have to discharge them 
to you can see what the uh, milliamp hour of each cell is and then you have to make sure that they stay at a constant voltage which is should hover around 3.7 volts uh, now you char to charge them you charge them at 4.2 volts now I charge them with my uh, Turnergy uh, I forget the name of the charger but I use it to charge my RC car batteries and I charge them at well I set, I set the charger to charge it at one and a half amps at 4.2 volts but the charger only charges it at around it starts at four point it starts at one and a half uh, amps and then as the batteries stop taking amperage it decreases down so from 1.5 it'll go to um, one and then it might go to like 1.8 and it just starts dropping down it typically will idle around like point four of an amp so 400 milliamps so it'll it'll stay around there most of the time when it's in its medium to or middle to end of its charge cycle now these batteries take a long time to charge that's the only problem with 18650s now I will hopefully be getting a charger designed just for 18650s and that will charge it a lot quicker than my other charger and I'll be able to use my real charger for RC car batteries because right now I had 12 and they were all dead and I was getting this flashlight in the mail and I wanted to use it so I was in frenzy charging up all the batteries to make sure that I can use my flashlight so that's one of the little problems I, I've had 12 and I've, it's taken me two days to charge them so yeah, that's one of the downsides with uh, 18650s yeah if you have any uh, questions you can post them down in the comment section below and like I said 20 likes or 15 comments we'll, uh, I'll do a video of where you can find these batteries so uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe also, I'll throw this in there. If I get 10 subscribers from when I'm posting this video, which is March, we'll be posting it on March 8th, March, March 7th or 8th, 2014. And currently I have 20 subscribers. So if I get 10 subscribers from this day on, while this video is around, I will make a video of how to get that. So, 10 subscribers from this point on getting to 30 subscribers, 20 likes, or 15 comments. And that'll get where to find these batteries for free. And anyone can do this. This is The Survivalist. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.